A decision-making toolbox for prioritising ecological restoration. The fate of humanity is intricately intertwined with the state of the environment. Vital ecosystem services, such as freshwater provision, underpin food security, health, well-being and economic prosperity. However, ecosystems everywhere face mounting challenges, including pollution and the impacts of climate change. Approximately one quarter of the Earth's land-based ecosystems suffer degradation, impacting over 41% of the global population. Without intervention, 95% could be degraded by 2050. Additionally, climate change presents a significant threat to water availability and the sustainability of ecosystems. Altered rainfall runoff patterns, extreme weather events, and changes in groundwater replenishment can initiate a cascade of effects leading to changes in water quality and quantity. Ecosystem degradation and climate change both contribute to catastrophic biodiversity losses and ecosystem function failures. In the face of escalating challenges, the need for ecological interventions has never been more urgent. As such, Ecosystem restoration is an integral aspect of several global policies, such as the UN's Sustainable Development Goals. However, where economic resources are limited, ecosystem restoration efforts must be prioritised to maximise benefits. Ecosystem restoration could provide significant benefits, particularly for rural South African communities. However, a scarcity of suitable data and the complex environmental and socio-economic landscape pose challenges for targeting restoration efforts. Researchers at Rhodes University in South Africa investigated climate change impacts on a seasonal river important for agriculture in the Western Cape, a water-scarce region. Using climate projections for 2041 to 2070, they highlighted substantial changes in flow patterns, water availability and variation in salinity. Potential consequences of these changes include increased soil erosion, significant loss of biodiversity and water and food scarcity due to the changed timings of water in the river and subsequent impacts on irrigation. They proposed several management strategies including controlled release from upstream water stores and removing thirsty invasive plants. However, conflicts over water between local land users may hinder cooperative water management efforts, highlighting the importance of including many stakeholders in decision-making. In another study, the researchers explored the importance of reliable estimates of ecosystem degradation for achieving restoration goals. They used historic and current data sets to model land degradation across grassland, a major habitat type in South Africa, tailoring the model for grassland-specific trends. The results revealed around 10% more degradation in grasslands than the baseline proportion of degradation obtained by assessing the South African landscape as a whole. By highlighting the limitations of current monitoring methods, the team's research underscores the importance of integrating ecosystem-specific indicators and frameworks into monitoring practices. This approach can enhance the accuracy of degradation assessments, which is fundamental to achieving targeted ecosystem restoration in complex landscapes. Most recently, the researchers explored how trade-offs of rehabilitation prioritisation could be balanced by using ecological modelling and analysis techniques and a participatory approach to decision-making. They integrated key ecological indicators in a participatory decision-making framework to identify areas for targeted ecosystem restoration in rural catchments in South Africa's Eastern Cape province. Collaborating with local stakeholders to develop the decision-making criteria ensured that social values were balanced with other priorities. The researchers determined the restoration scenario that could mitigate water flow changes associated with climate change and enhance the food security potential of rural catchments. Recommendations emphasise concentrating investments on landscapes predominantly occupied by older women to promote gender equity and rural development. The research highlights the importance of ecological monitoring and investment into accurate and reliable national datasets and the effectiveness of stakeholder-driven decision-making. 
Tailored and participatory approaches to restoration planning can ensure that ecological investments align with global sustainability targets while addressing the challenges unique to rural landscapes. Thank you.